Guys, it's Brian. I'm over here at the project lawn. This is my, I'm going to call it Robbie's lawn. This is the Robbie's lawn project lawn that I started working on with my friend one year ago, almost to the day. Today, as I record this, it's May 23rd. I want to say that we started working on this May 19th, uh, 2021. So within one year, all we've done to this lawn is really basic stuff. The reason why we're doing this lawn in very basic practices method is because this is palatable and easy enough for the average person to do the average person that doesn't have a whole lot of time or inclination to go too deep also the family that uses this lawn doesn't really have the ability to sit there and rip everything out uh, kill everything off reseed the whole area uh, it just takes it's too it interferes too much with their lifestyle they have too many kids and animals uh, to get that job done not to mention the fact that we've got septic right in the middle here So it's hard to bring an excavator out here and do a lot of heavy digging If you've been following along with this project for the past 12 months or have dug back into the archives You will remember that this lawn did not look like a lawn at all 12 months ago It looked like a wild landscaped jungle in the middle of you know in the middle of the trees we cut everything back. We started the process of killing weeds. We put down some pre-emergent uh, late in the season uh, last year because we started the project late in the season. Uh, we did a little bit of top dressing uh, leveling work uh, to fill in some of the low spots that dogs had dug out. We did some extra fertilizing throughout the year last year. Eventually we went and reseed or we overseeded some uh, fine fescue and tall fescue into this lawn. Uh, as you can see, we still have thin spots all over the place. Most of that is because kids dig in the dirt, dogs dig in the dirt, and we get long winters here. So baby grass that sits over there uh, is in the shade constantly, always wet and always cold so a lot of the seeds some of it took some of it didn't early this year we did some aeration here and then we put down a weed pre-emergent a little bit ahead of soil temperature scheduling and we put down a heavy dose of uh, scott's naturals fertilizer to slowly feed this lawn throughout the spring that right there is really all we've done to the lawn. It sounds like a lot, but that's 12 months of effort. And these are very, very simple things that have been done. Certainly haven't been doing any spoon feeding or using any fancy products. In one of the most recent videos on this project, we killed off a lot of the weeds that were here. And in that video, you could see that there were tons in this area. And this is like, you know, what they look like after triad select hit them they all just died off now we're left with only grass there's still a little bit of weed over here but the vast majority of the weed is completely gone and we're left with only grass the same can be said for just about everywhere a lot of the thin spots are where the weeds died off certainly we still have some but man it's way better than it was before You'll also notice that over here during the in the shadier parts of the year all of the grass over here has really come in pretty good uh, with the exception of the uh, the dog and kid play digging areas so we're going to be doing some extra uh, spot watering and trying to protect areas like this hoping that grass like this continues to thicken up same thing with over here. This area used to be mostly weeds, but it's starting to turn into be more grass. These are special areas of the lawn that we're really going to baby for the next couple months. We don't want these small spots to revert back to dirt. We want them to continue to thicken up. Now, I filled in a number of comments about this, questions from people uh, in the past. Why are we taking the long, slow road here? The long, slow road here is how you learn lawn care. In my opinion, if you just do things the fastest, easiest way, you actually don't learn a whole lot. Here we're learning how to deal with life in a yard and improving it over time. This is actually a pretty cost-effective way to deal with it. We don't have in-ground sprinklers. 
Uh, so we're learning how to water the lawn on a pattern. We're learning how to mow the grass on a pattern. We're learning the times of the year to apply weed killers and weed preventatives and when to put grass seed down, how to protect the grass seed. This is a great way for the homeowner uh, here and anywhere in this country watching a video series like this to learn how to get the job done. I always say that lawn care is a long play. It's a game. It's a hobby. It's not a sprint and we're not trying to win awards. We're just trying to improve what we have and we never ever actually get to the finish line because no matter how much we put into our lawns, all of us think, eh, I could do a little bit more. And that's what makes it fun. I've told Robbie that the next steps for this lawn are to raise the mower height up a little bit as we go into summer. It's a little bit too low right now, especially for the fescue that we've put on it. And now that we're getting regular, regular hotter days, warmer spring days, and eventually summer days, we're going to have to start really dialing in a good watering pattern, especially to keep these thin spots going and hopefully thickening out a little bit more. Soon we'll be putting down some extra fertilizer on the lawn and more importantly, some grub preventative on the lawn. That's going to be a step in the Fix Your Lawn series of videos here on the channel. And later, near the end of the summer, we're going to start preparing for our second overseed where we fill in a lot of the extra uh, thin spots. At this point, we have way less weeds in the lawn now than we did 12, 12 months ago and way more grass than we did 12 months ago. So we're making spectacular progress. Many of my subscribers were not with us when we started this process uh, in early 2021. So I have compiled all of the videos in this series into a playlist, which I'm going to link to down in the description below. Uh, not very many kinds of products have been used on this lawn, but I'm also going to uh, provide a list of kind of the things that we have applied over the past 12 months. Uh, so make sure to take a look at that. And if you don't like the slow repair of a lawn game, up here in the corner, I've got a whole video and honestly a video series about repairing a lawn much faster. Just nuking the whole lawn and starting over all in the span of a few months. Make sure to watch that if you're not interested in taking the slow route to repairing your lawn. Thanks.